A very good morning to one and all. We are the team NSP Innovators from DTMSP Operating Public School, 8th grade, Hyderabad, Telangana. I like that. The IV fluid indicator is relief initiator and savior of lives. This idea is on the biological sciences, which is treatment of injuries, vaccines, and diseases. Our problem statement is that we observe that uh, whenever someone is admitted to the hospital, they are given IV fluid, which is saline, to IV fluid bottles. But once this saline gets to a lower level or is finished, it can be very fatal for the patients since the blood starts flowing backwards to the tube into the IV fluid bottle. This causes anxiety, high BP, dehydration and deterioration of the patient's health, finally resulting in the death of the patient. Hence, it increases the work tempo of the nurses since the nurse has to put a constant check on the amount of IV fluid bottle present in the bottle, in the saline bottle. The solid screw we made the IV fluid indicator. In this prototype, we have used an arsenal, a nozzle, a battery, a HX electrical amplifier, and also a GSM model. We have coded the RDM in such a way that the nozzle weighs up to 1 kg. So now we will show the working of the model. First, the nozzle has to manually switch on, uh, switch on the model. Then, when the buzzer starts beeping and the LED starts going, the nozzle has to place the bottle on the handle. Then, uh, as the working is now full with 500 ml, it, uh, the, there will be no, uh, there'll be no indication. But as soon as the uh, bottle goes below 60 ml, then the uh, uh, buzzer starts blowing and the indicator. In the prototype, we set the lower level point as 60 ml, but we can change the lower level point as the nurse's wish through this knob. As you can see here, there are uh, options to change, so we can change. So this is how our prototype works. First, the load cell will detect uh, the difference in the weight of the saline bottle. Then it will send the signals to HX 711 amplifier. Then uh, the HX 711 amplifier will calculate the thing and it will send it to GSM module. At last, the GSM module will send the signal to Arduino, which will send a notification to the nurse's mobile, reminding her to replace the IV fluid bottle. So this innovation can help doctors, nurses, and most importantly. The patients. This can be implemented easily in a public hospital or in a government or a private hospital. More importantly in the government hospital because the nurses work is twofold. The reason being that there are more and more patients and so the tension is more there of handling the patients. It can also be used in cases where the patient is admitted in the home itself and the IV fluid is given at home. We aim to solve this problem which is can be fatal for the patients. Our device is user friendly and cost effective. It's also easy to operate and we will develop it as much as possible. Speaking about the novelty, then there are very, very few products existing in the market and our making, our solution and our application is completely different. We have tried to create a unique solution for the problem we identified and we aim for the betterment of such patients who are facing these issues. We ourselves have heard and observed this problem and that's what sparked the idea of the IV fluid indicator. Thank you.